All right, this is probably one of the harder questions that you're going to face. It's got some quadratic formulas in it. So we've got car A, and he's traveling at 20 meters per second in the leftward direction. All right? And you have car B. No, pardon me. He is accelerating. And he's accelerating at, okay, yeah, and he's accelerating at 2.5 meters per second squared. So we know something about him. Car B, on the other hand, is coming in the opposite direction, right? And he is traveling at 30 meters per second, but accelerating, or decelerating. So let's talk about this. He's decelerating at 3.2 meters per second squared. So he's got the brakes on, right? So, but this is important to understand. If he's accelerating in this direction, he'd have a positive, and he was slowing down, he'd have a negative acceleration. But he is actually, it's going to be the reverse. I don't know if this is making any sense. Um, because he's decelerating in the negative direction, which is a negative, a negative, which is positive. Yeah, anyways, hopefully that makes sense. This is just to kind of frame the question. The big question is, write the equations. Now, when we talk about the equations, we're talking about this XF equation, this equation 6, if you will, right? So you're going to say X, you call him car 1, and car 2. You're going to say X1 equals, now let's think about it, where are they starting, right? We don't know that. His original speed, we'll say that the original location is here, right? By the way, he's 100 meters away, right? That's also in the problem. So you're going to say what? 0 plus, what is it? That's, that's the xi, and then vit, 20t, plus 1 half times 2.5t squared. That's for car 1. Car 2, this is 100 meters, plus... Now, this is important, Oops, what? negative 30t, does that make sense? Because he's going at, see, does that make sense? Because he's moving in the negative direction, plus one half. And this is where it's important. Do I put negative 3.2 or positive 3.2? It's 3.2t squared. Now, the question they're asking at what time do they hit or pass, I guess they're not initially on a collision course. So that's going to be when x1 equals x2. So what you're going to do for part B is you're going to take this equation, you're going to set it equal to this equation, and you're going to solve for T. Warning, this will have quadratic formulas involved. So you're going to have to figure out how to do quadratic formulas, review your brain cells on how to do that. And by the way, you know quadratics, you're going to end up with two answers. One will make sense, and one will not make sense at all. And I'll let you think through how you would determine which one makes sense and which one does not.